I'm Suzanne Herzog, Iowa's independent candidate for U.S. Senate. Now we have to talk about money. Did you know that Washington congressional members pay party dues to get special preference for their choice of committee assignments? These required political party contributions also factor into whether or not some legislation is even ever considered. With the current narrow party majority in the U.S. Senate, a nonpartisan senator can represent Iowa with powerful leverage that money can't buy. Unchecked political parties are spending millions on dubious objectives that don't support democracy, and the constant contention between them further fuels a bonfire of American dollars. Iowa, we can reestablish our political leadership role and show the rest of the nation what campaign finance reform really looks like by sending an independent to Washington. Right now, there is great enthusiasm for independent candidates in Iowa and nationwide. Much of the time, more Iowa voters are registered independent than with either major political party. The balance only shifted a little with the June primaries when many people registered with the party just in order to participate. Along the campaign trail, I received plenty of hugs before physical distancing was imposed and countless well wishes and cheers for our campaign in person and by email from Republicans, Democrats, and independents alike. We do need more campaign funds to ensure a successful election, but certainly not the millions of dollars associated with the political party candidates. Our more universal messages have much broader appeal. All we need to do is make sure that as many Iowans as possible are made aware of this historically powerful choice. With the evolving socio-political environment, social media, and countless new ways to connect with people, in addition to the traditional mailers and yard signs soon to be displayed, we can win this November. I guarantee you that every donor dollar my campaign team receives has more potential impact to reach Iowa voters. No more money should be wasted on the overfunded political party candidates. Did you know that some of the campaign funds they receive are never spent on the campaign anyway? They're just used to pay those congressional party dues to keep the Washington, D.C. money-driven power struggle going. There are no provisions for political parties written into our Constitution. So today we have the option of working with them or working around them when they fail us. George Washington even warned us in his farewell address that they may prevent the branches of government from enacting the powers provided them by our Constitution. This is clearly happening today. It's time we take the lead. In politics, as in life, in order to have better results, we need to have the courage to make new and better choices. Please join us.